Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Today, we're on the Hank Strange Hacienda. Uh, I'm going to pull this bad boy out of here. Yes. Check out this luxurious, highly custom crafted garage <laughs> that I have going on here. Basically, uh, what is this Lola chicken wire? <laughs> it's fencing. Uh, yeah, I think it's chicken fencing. Uh, this is the thin one, it's to hold in chicken. Look, an automatic power roll, roll sideways door. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Let me see, I'm in, and I'm doing a bad job of rolling it to get it out of the way. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Do you want to hear that cold startup? Sure. All right, check this out. Focus on all the awesomeness over here. those expensive uh, when you look at those expensive those ballers you know like they're in LA and Palm Beach and all that kind of awesomeness they don't have this kind of gritty country feeling I don't think I don't think they do I don't think they do Lola messing around welcome back to the channel I'm Hank Strange uh, I want to tell you guys about the convoy across America trip that I'm doing with Brownells and I thought I would take this as a good opportunity to talk to you about this beast that sits behind me yes she is an Audi R8 V10 plus I know look at all its country awesomeness because you know I live out here in the country this is where she has to dwell with me. And I know there's lots of people out there like, damn, Hank Strange must be a baller. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I'm pretty sure that compared to someone else out there, I'm balling. I know, I get it. I understand that. But I'm actually not a baller. The whole thing about this, for me, is actually something very closely related to the convoy across America that Brownells is doing. Lots of other people involved in it. I'm involved in it. Lots of your favorite gun celebrities, etc. Just quickly, what it's all about is with Brownells, myself, some other people, if you want to join us, you can join us. It starts July 16th in Florida at the Leesburg, uh, in Leesburg, Florida, at the Aries uh, Firearms Training Facility that's in, uh, that's in Leesburg. And it's July 16th at 7 p.m. We're going to have machine guns and 50 cal and flamethrowers and stuff like that. And there's going to be some uh, some cool gun guys out there and then me. And we're going to travel every day. We're moving across the country. We're going from Florida all the way out to L.A. I, if you go in the uh, description of this video, you'll find a link about all the stops of what we're doing. And this has a lot to do with that. You know, I am a gun guy. Yes. Love guns. I love guns. 
I love the ladies, and I love machines. So, the guns, you guys have seen the guns. You've seen Lola. That's the only lady I'm loving right now. Because Lola likes guns too, so I gotta be careful. Can't really get in too much trouble there. Not good. <laughs> Not prudent. And machines. I love machines. I love cars and lots of other things like that. And so I grew up uh, as a kid growing up in the in the 70s and the 80s and, and all that kind of stuff. I, I watched Cannonball Run. One, two, some other kind of Cannonball movies that they made. Death Race, all that kind of stuff, you know. And I love that sense of like adventure in, in, that you can get on a machine. Something like a car where you can go from one part of the country to the other and you're racing or you're doing all these kinds of things. I really enjoyed that and it's kind of something that's on my bucket list. Right? And I really, really wanted to do it. So when um, the idea came up that we should do something like this and then Brownells kind of took the torch and organized everything. Shout out to my friend Josh at Brownells because all of this convoy across America is basically Josh. He organized everything because he's awesome and he put it together um, as well as Ryan at Brownells and the, and the rest of the Brownells family and crew. I thought, you know what, this is a cool opportunity to do something like this. Can I afford it? That's a question that comes up all the time. Hank Strange, where are you making all this money? How can you afford this thing? Uh, can't really afford it. That's why there's this thing in the world called credit. <laughs> you know, and the people at Audi were crazy enough to actually <laughs> give me the credit to buy this thing. And I was like, oh, I'm doing this. I'm making this thing happen at least until the convoy across America is over. So that's what's going on here. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you see that I like cars. I've had lots of different cars, cars that I could afford, um, and then some cars that I can't afford. I just love cars. I wanna drive every car I possibly can before I die. I think that my passion uh, with, with things like cars is, is as deep as, as it is with guns, right? I think in the end, they're all tools, machinery, etc. I don't love the things. I love the desire and passion that it invokes in me. And that's what I'm all crazy about. So if you're wondering, if you want to know that I, did I win the lottery or am I making that much money doing YouTube? I'm not, I'm not going to say that. We do, Lola and I, we work really hard. We work all the time. We probably put in more hours than most other people. You know, I'm, I'm a 46 year old man. You know, uh, is this a midlife crisis thing? Ask Lola. I went through that midlife crisis thing already with motorcycles. She totally shut that down. I don't blame her. I didn't even ride a bicycle before I wanted to get into motorcycles. And I did get my motorcycle license, right Lola? Yep. And I did have some motorcycles, right? Yep. And I had a Harley, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was terrible, terrible at that, <laughs> real bad. <laughs> but I did it, you know, and uh, this is another thing that I want to do. To me, that's what my life is about. That's what this channel is about. That's, uh, it's a lifestyle thing. It's things that I believe in, like how I passionately believe in the Second Amendment and so many other things that I voice to you guys all the time. And this is really like a big endeavor for me. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to traveling across the country with friends and people who we think alike and making all these stops. I think in Fayetteville, we're going to a brewery. Let me, uh, where's my phone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys that stuff right now, like exactly what stops we're making. Let me see, I'm gonna go through this really quick right here and tell you guys about all the stops that we got coming up here. Let me see pull that up okay so in July 16th it's at the Aries range 7 p.m. that's in Leesburg Florida July 17th it's a bright light brewing company that's in Fayetteville North Carolina July 18th it's in Tal uh, Talladega super speedway in Talladega Alabama uh, July 20th the range at Austin and Austin Texas awesome uh, July 22nd red leg brewing company in Colorado Springs lots of brewing going on here which is a nice thing and uh, July 23rd, it's at Novak Jeep Conversions. Those guys are actually on the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. If you haven't seen that, go look for it. It's out there on YouTube. Uh, great thing. We talked about um, Jeeps and stuff like that, but just other things in general. They're also gun guys. Um, July 24th is at Speed Vegas in Las Vegas. And uh, July 25th, it's at Independent Studio Services in Los Angeles, California. And that's it. I'll put this in the description. We're putting up lots of things about it. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. It's not exactly Cannonball Run, it's not a race, but it is an adventure that we're having across country. And I get to hang out with people who think like me, and we get to do the things that we're into, which are just not um, like, you know, we're not just into guns. 
We're not just into cars and motorcycles and cigars and and beer. Everybody's into beer, at least a little bit. Me, obviously, I've had uh, one or two beers in my life, but you know, nothing wrong with that. This is really what this is about. That's what this beauty is about. I'm gonna enjoy it as long as I can. Take this trip across country. I hope you guys join me um, on this adventure. You know, you can come to one spot. You can go with us all the way, half the way. Um, you're also going to be able to get in touch with me while I'm traveling here. If you are part of HankStrange.tv, it's uh, you can opt in. It's a, you put your email and you opt into our newsletter. And then what I do is uh, once a week at least right now, Lola and I send out a newsletter and I give fo folks out there my phone number where you can call me. If I'm not crazy busy, I'll actually answer. So while I'm driving, I'll probably answer some phone calls. You can text me, you can send me photographs, we can communicate. It's the really the best way to do that. And uh, you gotta get involved at hankstrange.tv to get up on that. Um, so that's how you get in touch with me while I'm out on the road. I'm gonna make videos, we're gonna do some some uh, live broadcasts while we're out there. It's, I'm, I'm really, I don't know how much to put this to you guys. This is something that I've been dreaming about doing since I was a little kid. And yeah, it's costed me a lot, but what are your experiences in life? What are your memories worth to you? When you finally kick the bucket, this is why they call it a bucket list. When you finally kick the bucket, you can't take anything with you except, um, you know, the, the things that you did. You can remember that in your final moments. And your loved ones can also have those memories of all the things that you were able to do. This is uh, that for me. I hope you guys join us on this. If you can't join us, you know, maybe you can live vicariously through us a little bit as we share all this stuff. Uh, thanks so much, Lola. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything else out there. I think you got it. Okay, I got it. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. See you on the road. Convoy across America. <laughs>